Aries, welcome to this just-in-time tarot reading. And if you are watching this, Aries, trust that there is a message here for you. And that message begins with surrendering to the divine. And it's a full moon energy. So it might be surrendering to something coming full, full circle, to a completion, to a conclusion here. And the surrender energy just asks you to let go a little bit, to release control, right? You're the emperor. That can be challenging. So yes, it's about taking action but it's also allowing things to unfold okay the empress to your emperor is about you know following your intuition allowing things to happen in their own magical way here let's build on this message for you Aries but that is an exciting start here for us going to the oracle of the angels now and i have pulled releasing okay so that uh, backs up what we're thinking here that the surrender is around a release around a letting go. Now we're in Taurus season and that's the energy of the Hierophant for me. And this is asking you to review uh, the big commitments or a big commitment in your life. So it's a general reading. It will be different for all of you areas, but this could be around, of course, your relationship. This could be around your work career or course of study, or, you know, maybe, you know, where you live. It's you know, your big towers. There's something to be released here. Okay. And you would release it if it wasn't in alignment with your core values, okay? Three or more core values is what you need for that true longevity in this situation. If it's not where you, you see yourself heading, if it doesn't feel like the energy you want moving forward, it is time to surrender to the Divine Aries and consider releasing this. Let's go to the Tarot. judgment well there you go Aries it's time for a powerful judgment call and judgment is the second to last major arcana card right before the world right before it's a cyclic completion I was seeing that card in my mind's eye so that you can prepare to enter into your next huge cycle of life there's a chapter closing here now it does feel with the judgment energy that it is holding you back in some way or it stopped giving you the growth okay that you're really desiring it's completing right it's starting to die away here i think that you have heard the call that you have gotten the intuition your guides are likely sending your signs you're likely seeing the angel numbers and it's time for you to act on that judgment call surrender to the divine that sometimes you know doors need to close Four of Swords is here and you might be taking a moment to process this because you know it involves the Three of Swords, a severing of ties, some hurt and disappointment that that wasn't your forever, your happy ever after or your long term plan after all. But clarity and breakthrough is coming for you. For some of you, you might have needed to need to wait for the right timing here for releasing. You might have needed something else to fall into place. Or maybe you were looking for that confirmation, that truth, that evidence. Maybe this reading is that for you, Aries. But the Eight of Cups is here. So hopefully, uh, you know, if you were looking for that confirmation, Aries, this is it. The Eight of Cups talks about leaving behind what is not your version of what you're trying to achieve or create here so that you can find the missing pieces and get to the ninth cup, your happiness, your satisfaction, your wish fulfilled. So that's the confirmation that it's time to follow that intuition, release, move away. I have the Empress at the bottom of the deck. It says that there's a rebirth available for you, Aries, and that you can really create you know, you can create your dreams now once you've moved past the situation, which I think was one of your biggest blocks to that. Yeah, look what we've got. Three of Swords, and here it comes. We're looking at a, th a severing of ties here. Yes, it is very disappointing and it is hurtful here, Aries, and you will need to process that pain and feel all the things. But the Three of Swords is an exciting energy because three is the number of that empress it's the number of creation and recreation in the tarot so it's allowing you to get back on path through releasing what is not it and that's what makes the sun come out isn't that interesting 
future is very bright ahead once you get past this obstacle and heal. The sun is the card of Leo and it says it's time to have that backbone, the strength, the courage to follow the call of the heart. Again, it's about victory. It's about rebirth. It indicates a lot of healing here for you. The obstacle you need to break through is the actual release here, Aries. And I think being who you are, you've probably tried to keep this together, to keep making it work, but it's come at the cost of you, your own energy, and I think your bigger dreams as well, through embracing that divine feminine empress energy and, you know, letting go and surrendering to the divine, you are inviting in the light, the energy that helps you transform and rebirth and brings you you know, to the foot of the new path that will inevitably open for you, Aries. So that's what I have for you. I hope you uh, enjoyed this reading, Aries. I do hope that it resonated for you. If you would like a personal reading to tune into your specific situation and circumstances, the first link down below will take you to my website to check those out. Um, please do follow me on Instagram for daily readings and I do uh, free little personal readings uh, quite regularly over there but you will need to be following and checking my story that is where I put the call out for those just wishing you all the love and magic Aries do take care bye for now